So in this very simple animation tutorial, we're going to animate a telephone ringing. And the first thing we're going to do is to go and find a telephone at TurboSquid. So here I am at TurboSquid.com and I'm just going to type in phone and see what we can find. So we're going to get a bunch of options and I'm going to search by lower prices to get the free stuff. And then we're going to have a look at these and see what we can find. So I've refined the search to search for rotary phone and I found a good one here that looks pretty promising. It doesn't really matter which one you use, we just need to, um, uh, we just need to download something. So let's go ahead and take this one. So I've downloaded it to my props folder on my hard drive and it actually downloads as an OBJ, but you can open that up into Maya. So I'm just going to take a copy of the um, of the Maya file or, or the OBJ, whatever. Uh, Maya is better, but OBJ will also open in Maya and will create a new project. So let's open up Maya and then let's go File. Let's just tear this off so you can see it. Project window. And I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to call it Phone Ring. Uh, and then, whoops, uh, no spaces in Maya. And then phone ring underscore today's date, which is the 16th of March, 2024. Um, and I'm going to accept that. And then I'm going to go ahead and set to that project. So set to project. Uh, there we go. Phone ring. There we go. And now we're in the project. So now what I want to do is take that phone, that object that I've downloaded, and pop it in my, in my scenes folder. So I open up a window in Maya. I go documents. Maya, projects, and let's see, phone ring, and then scenes, and that's where I want to put the phone that I've downloaded from TurboSquid. And there it is, so I'm just gonna grab it, rotary phone, control C, and paste that into my scenes folder. All right, and now we can go back to Maya, and we can open that up. Let's open up the phone, rotary phone, and now we should have the phone, there we go. Now the phone comes in quite big. Um, now I've already actually um, uh, uh, done a little work on this, but if, you, if it's coming in as one solid object, which it probably will when you first download it, what you can do is go, make sure you're in the modeling menu and go mesh separate, and that will separate the phone out into separate elements so that you can select the handset and animate it. Because it's only really the handset that we're interested in today. Okay, so let's go to the animation setup. So we're going to go to panels, layouts, three panes, split top. And I'm starting with the basics today because this is an in, a, a, a beginner's tutorial. Up here, we want the perspective view. There we go. I'm going to press um, six on my keyboard uh, so that I get the gray shade view. There's no texture on this phone, but we could make it red. Um, and, um, and then under here, we go panels. Uh, panel graph editor. That's all we want down here is the graph editor. Actually, let's go ahead and make the phone red. We might as well. Let's go. To, so we go to Windows Outliner, and we're going to select the phone up here. And um, uh, so there's my phone. And what I can do is I can right click on it, and I can go. Now you can't see. Uh, you can't see because it's off the screen here. So I'm just going to tell you. So you're going to go to Assign Favorite Material Lambert. Assign favorite material Lambert. Now that's going to pop up Lambert too. So let's call that phone Lambert. And let's just make the color of that. We're going to the color tab. Let's just make that kind of fire engine red, like an old fashioned rotary phone. And there we go. Now we've got a fire engine red phone. Uh, we'll probably need to do something about the, um, uh, the um, uh, dial, but never mind that. We can worry about that later. So let's do some animation. So we're just gonna, we're just, I'm just gonna select the um, the handset so I can lift it up and down. I'm just gonna go ahead and and actually let's make this. Um, we'll have two. Let's have two rings on this phone. So let's make it well 49, 48 frames. That's actually fine <coughs> by default. That works well. So let's go ahead and keyframe the phone at the beginning. So I'm just gonna select that and hit S on my keyboard, and you'll see this little red stripe appears down here and the phone is keyframed. So let's go to frame 13 and hit S again uh, to lock down those keys. And then let's go to frame 15. And now we want the phone popping up in the air. So I'm just gonna lift it up in the air. 
and I'm just going to rotate it slightly to one side like that. And then let's go to 17, lift it up a little bit further in the air, rotate it the other way. Whoops. There we go. 19, let's lift it up a bit further in the air, rotate it the other way. 21, let's lift it a bit further in the air, rotate it the other way. 23, it can just start coming down now, rotate it the other way. And then 25, we want it back on the ground. So what I'm going to do, clever trick here, is go to frame one. Using my middle mouse button, I drag that over to frame 25, release my finger off the middle mouse button and press S. And that will now update to frame 25. So now if I press play, I'm going to get this. There we go. So I get a, I get a, I get a ringing phone. Now we can, we can adapt that a little bit. Let's just go and have a look in our graph editor. So let's have a look at the um, uh, the uh, translate translate Y on that. So we want a nice crisp motion upwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that nice and crisp. And down here at frame 13, I want to break that tangent. And I want to go tangents, break tangent. Wait, let's just tear this off so you can see it. Tangents, break tangents. And that way... Whoops, let me just close that out. I can then take this handle here and using my middle mouse, I can make that a nice crisp curve like that. Something like that. Okay. So we want a nice, a nice, um, a nice smooth curve. There we go. So now if I go back to the, um, the phone ringing, I should get a nice, there we go, something like that. It's actually, I think, a bit high up in the air. So let me just go back to um, my graph editor, if I can find it, it's sort of disappeared here off the screen. There we go, graph editor. And let's go back to translate Y. And just lower that whole thing a little bit, so it's not quite so perky. There we go. And I think I need a keyframe that frame 17 on that as well. There we go. Something like that. And then let's also adjust the um, the, the rotate um, on the, uh, so that's going to be rotate Z. So that's actually looking pretty good. We can maybe increase the amplitude on that a little bit. That looks like a pretty good curve. Let's press play again. There we go. Bring. Good. OK, now what we can do is let's go back up to the top of the node on the phone handle. And let's just go ahead and grab that chunk of keyframes. And then what I can do is let's go to frame 37 and set a keyframe. Press A in the graph editor and then select that final keyframe and then Let's select all of those keys and go edit, copy, and then I can just paste that at frame 37, edit, paste, and I'll get the whole thing again. So then I get two rings. Uh, we may need to make the shot just a little bit longer. Let's make, take it up to 51 frames. 51 frames there as well. And now we should have two bone, so it should ring twice. So something like that. You can adjust this, obviously. It works better if you don't have a cord, because then you don't have to deal with the cord stretching. But that gives you a ringing phone, which you can add to a scene. You could do this with any kind of phone. It could be an iPhone sitting on a table, buzzing away. In this case, we've got an old-fashioned rotary phone. But that is a very simple piece of animation to animate a phone ringing.